I think this has to be the best discovery I've ever made. Good morning, and you join me in the Spanish city of Lugo. I'm starting by the walls where I finished yesterday's video. And it's these walls that I've come to see because they date from the third and the fourth century back to Roman Lugo or Lucas Augusti as the Roman town here was known as. And, these, and Lugo is the only city in the whole world to be completely surrounded by intact Roman walls. Now these walls uh, reach a height of 10 to 15 meters, about 33 to 50 feet, along a two kilometer circuit around the old town, the old city. And they are absolutely incredible to look at. There are 71 towers which uh, are dotted around at intervals around the walls and it's easy to understand why this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I've seen city walls all over Europe from Nuremberg up to York in England and even in Colchester they have some sections of Roman wall but this is absolutely incredible and you get an idea of just what Lucas Augusti might have looked like in Roman times looking at these impressive walls. They are in such immaculate condition. And the intricacy of the stonework, you think how they built this and the people who built it back in the third and fourth century, 1600 years ago. It's absolutely incredible. It really is. I don't think the the pictures on the screen just do it justice. This is a, a city you have to visit. And there's a section here of wall, which is, wow, so well preserved, unbelievable, it really is. But let's go, go through this archway here, one of the largest uh, archways in, uh, in Lugo, and see what we can discover of the remains of Lucas Augusti. And this is just one of the, uh, the 71 entrance gates into Lucas Augusti. And it really is just fantastic to walk under the archway. And you think of all the people over the past 1600 years who have walked through here, modern people and those from Roman times. As you look up behind me, you can see the, uh, the statue of a man on a horse at the top of the inside of the gate. Absolutely fantastic. Walk up into the courtyard, you can see the cathedral. It looks fantastic, it really does. The morning sun. And there's a walkway here, which goes up on top of the wall. Let's go walk on the wall. Do life walking on Roman walls. Just so exciting to, uh, to visit Lugo. I am absolutely in my element here. There is just so much Roman history here. And these walls are just incredible. Actually walking on a Roman wall. Something I don't think I've done. I've walked on the walls of Nuremberg, and I've walked past New, um, Roman walls in Colchester and of course walked on medieval walls up in the city of York in England. But this is absolutely amazing up here walking on a Roman wall. And I can look down and I can see about a dozen more of the bastions and the, the actual thickness of the wall, the width of the wall as well. It's got to be about uh, 15 feet in, in width. Absolutely incredible. It really is. There's a little seating area here as well. 
Just imagine in Roman times, Roman centurions walking up on the wall, guarding the towers, protecting the citizens, looking down onto the walls, into the, uh, into the city, seeing Roman people going about their business. Absolutely fantastic. It's worth the effort to come here just to see this. But there are many more Roman ruins and Roman attractions and other attractions here in Lugo. And today I'm gonna to try and find as many as I can and show them to you. So let's go and explore Lugo. Or maybe I should say, let's go and explore the remains of Lugus Augusti. One of the most beautiful buildings in Lugo is the city's cathedral. It's dedicated to uh, St Mary and was built around 1129. Although the, the, the front of the cathedral that we see today and the towers, well they date from 1769. Now I've just had a walk around the interior and it's absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately the cathedral has a policy whereby visitors are unable to take photographs. They don't allow photography in the building. So I'll try and find some photographs and I'll put them on the screen if I can find any. And I'll put the um, origins of the photographs in the description. The entrance fee was six, euro, six euros and that was money well spent. First of all, I went up to the uh, museum, which is housed in the cathedral's triforium. This is the upper level, the balcony area, and the rooms which uh, overlook the nave. And the artefacts on display there are the most incredible I've ever seen in any cathedral museum. So many uh, wooden sculptures, church plate, coins, historical artefacts, carvings, and um, fragments of uh, animal bone they've all found during excavations here and in other places. It really is a, just a fascinating collection of, of objects and uh, the clergyman's robes as well. And a beautiful cloister uh, around the, uh, the back as well, which was completed in 1711. But it's the opulent interior, which is just so fantastic. And the ceiling as well. The painting is just absolutely incredible. It's just a shame that uh, I couldn't have um, shown more of the interior to you as I have done with other cathedrals. But let's, uh, let's move on. Let's see what else we can find here in Lugo and make our way through the town. I want to try and find a couple of interesting statues as well. One to... Um, uh, Caesar Augustus and there's a huge wall mural somewhere in the in the city to Julius Caesar so I'm going to try and find those as I walk through the uh, the city centre
ruins are just just mind blowing. And this is only the second temple to Mithras that I've seen. The first was in London. I knew uh, Lugo would throw up a few surprises, but I wasn't expecting extent, extensive um, ruins like this. Just the way they've presented it is absolutely incredible. It really is. And this is all against the uh, the backdrop of the city wall. The city wall was impressive from the outside, but this section here is just just brilliant to look at it. It's just so well preserved. That was absolutely fascinating. Now let's see what else we can discover here in Lugo. What an absolutely incredible museum that was. To see the uh, remote remains of the Roman house or Domus and the temple of Mithras, the Iranian sun god Mithra. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Uh, I remember looking around the interior of a Roman house and I visited Rimini last year. That was just absolutely brilliant to see what they had on display. And there's a little museum upstairs as well. Really interesting, some of the artifacts they had on display. And a coffin as well, two coffins with uh, medieval burials inside. It just doesn't come any better. What a fantastic day I am having so far. I'm walking up here by the side of the uh, cathedral. And I think that uh, Lugo is gonna throw up some more surprises before the day is finished. So uh, let's go and explore Lugo a little further. Sun is shining. Forecast for today is 26 degrees and it really is lovely and warm. It's thunderstorms forecast for later and torrential rain as well. I really hope the other uh, forecast is wrong because uh, I had enough rain and thunder in Eindhoven a few days ago. But these statues here are really quite incredible. Come into this little, 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 um, little square. And these are the statues of Augustus and Paulus Fabius Maximus. And these are the founders of Lucas Augusti, modern day Lugo. Now Caesar Augustus, also known as Octavian, was the founder of the Roman Empire. He reigned as the first Roman emperor from 27 BC until his death in AD 14. And Paulus Fabius Maximus, well, he was a Roman senator active towards the end of the first century BC and a confidant of the Emperor Augustus. And he also died here in AD 14. And it's brilliant, look at these statues. Absolutely magnific magnificent. And they're collectively holding a shield with a map of Lucas Augusti. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I just love statues like this local people who have founded a town. Achievers, brilliant. Oh, just love my Roman history. It's absolutely brilliant. But this little square is rather nice. Lots of trees and benches and everybody enjoying themselves. Everybody out having some fun and enjoying the sunshine. And a delightful little bandstand as well. That's lovely. It really is. Let's just uh, turn the camera around. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. And now let's head on and try and find some more Roman remains here in Lugo. Well, I did enjoy a walk around that park and seeing the bandstand. Absolutely wonderful. It really is. This another quaint little back street. I just love the architecture of these, uh, these back streets. They're absolutely beautiful with balconies above. 
but just down here on the right hand side is a shoe shop now I haven't got time to go shoe shopping much I'd like to <laughs> but it's what's underneath the, um, the shoe shop that I'm interested in and it's the Casal das Mosaicos and it's a Roman remains of a Roman house with, uh, with mosaics so let's go downstairs and take a look If you look very carefully, you can see the paw print of a Roman dog. And there's a second one just a little bit further in as well. Absolutely perfectly preserved Roman paw print. I had a feeling that Lugo would throw up a few surprises today, and it certainly has. But out of all the archaeological sites, and the Roman sites that I visited around Europe. I think this has to be the best discovery I've ever made. A Roman paw print from a small dog. And uh, you can look, actually look inside the, uh, the drain as well. Absolutely incredible. I'm so pleased that I came to Lugo. The Roman sites here are just incredible and this Domus is well worth visiting. <clears throat> wow that museum was absolutely incredible. I do love seeing Roman ruins and those mosaics were really really well preserved and as for that paw print well what a find that was. That was just, that's just made my day. That really has. But anyway, let's see what else we can find here in Lugo. nice sitting here. Little, um, little courtyard, restaurants and delightful architecture. I found some real gems of architecture here today in Lugo. Some great back streets as well. Sort of streets I haven't seen anywhere else. So the uh, unique Galatian uh, architecture. This is the uh, Galatia region of Spain. It's really rather pleasant. And this restaurant's nice as well. Ordered some uh, some meatballs and some chips. Hola. 
<coughs> really rather nice. And according to the menu, it's, uh, it's a local recipe as well. So, uh, very tasty, very tasty. And I've got a little beer as well, just to um, wash it down. Oh, I do like a little beer. This one's a dark one. It's, uh, it's on the menu as toasty. Obviously a toasty colour, as opposed to the, uh, the blonde uh, variety, which I had uh, yesterday in Santiago. So I do like to have different foods when I'm out and about. And um, this is certainly a very tasty little meal. And I am enjoying this. And it's such uh, great ambience as well. So I'm going to finish my, uh, my meal and then head down outside the city walls and try and find that mural to Julius Caesar. I've had a fantastic day just walking through the city here of Lugo. My decision to come here and see the walls was just, just the right one. I just love my Roman history and my Roman architecture. And they don't come any better than looking at these walls. They really are absolutely incredible. I've walked a little further around uh, on the walls from where I started my journey this morning. And this is where I'm going to end the video. Behind me you can see the mural to Julius Caesar. And what a fantastic mural it is. That must be the best piece of street art I think I've ever seen. The scale of it, the size of it, and the, the detail. Somebody very talented uh, did that. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I'm lost for words. I've had a most incredible day and to see a statue of uh, a wall mural of Julius Caesar in front of me and the Roman walls behind me. I don't know which way to turn. I am in, oh, what an incredible day I have had. But this is where I end the video and my day uh, here in Lugo. Uh, tomorrow I'm heading to La Coruna, but getting there I think it's going to be a little challenging, so um, I'll worry about that tomorrow. But I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this journey with me and seeing the incredible sights here in Lugo. And hopefully you were excited by seeing that paw print as well. Just incredible. But I end the video here, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow my journey. There's plenty to come, there really is. And we'll see you tomorrow as my story continues here in Spain.